Hey guys, it's Ben and Kelly from the Fun Employed family and today we want to talk to you about Instagram and how weird it's acting. Are they hiding likes and follows? Are they going to? And also, what does it mean and what can we all do as an Instagram community? Yep. So Instagram is acting super weird. Yeah, back in December there was a leaked app format change where your feed would be swiped horizontally instead of up and down and that was kind of odd and went away after a day. There was a big global outage in March another big outage in April, and lots of people reporting photos missing, just gone, poof, poof. <laughs> um, okay. Um, poof. Yeah. Our account even got entirely deleted. We woke up one morning and it said user deleted. Friends were texting us, asking what was going on. We had no idea. Finally, somehow we got it back. I don't know, but that's super scary. So make sure you download your Instagram history often. And most recently, we've noticed massive drops in hashtag impressions. We used to get roughly 2,000 impressions from hashtags. We haven't changed much of what we do and how we do it, but now we get 10. A photo will have 10 impressions from hashtags, but we still show up in top hashtags, but we only have 10 impressions. And just this morning, we noticed that our comments in our feed are now not in chronological order. We have a drop down to say top comments versus newest comments. So anyways, Instagram is changing a lot of things right now and we're trying to catch up with it. But the biggest question that everyone wants to know, and there's rumors swirling, are they gonna take away likes and follower accounts? This could be really huge in how Instagram is used on a daily basis by the billion users that are out there. So everybody wants to know why would Instagram do something like this? Why would they remove likes and follower accounts? Well, the biggest reason is to alleviate the mental health issues and reduce the stress of a popularity contest, especially in kids and teens. Yeah, there could be a short-term backfire though because a lot of people do look to Instagram for that validation, that self-validation, and they like to see their likes go up and their follower accounts go up. And if you take that away, short-term, there could be some side effects as well. So, I don't know. But also, the hope is that that would reduce the number of fake followers and fake likes and bots that are interacting on Instagram every day as well. Yes, that would be great. And another goal of this potential change would be for users to focus on genuine content, share it with their friends, and just be a little bit more or less stressful of an application and less anxiety out there. And for the, all those reasons, we actually love the idea about removing likes and follower accounts. So what would a huge change like this mean for the business side of Instagram? For people like us, we have tons of questions. How do we find the right brands? How do brands find us? How do we work together from an influence standpoint if all of those very easy to see metrics are gone? So how will this impact brand marketing strategies? Instagram is notorious for being terrible at click-through sales generations. However, it's an awesome platform for brand awareness, product awareness, and usually brands work through paid promotions or work with the influencer community. So hopefully Instagram finds a way to connect brands with influencers, even if they do choose to remove the follower count and fake likes. We're hoping that there's some sort of platform or verified status that could help everybody out a little bit more. So there's still a lot to be seen. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if brands are gonna take their marketing dollars elsewhere. We don't know what the changes will bring. Yeah, they may wanna find a little bit more stable and solid return on investment. Okay, so what can you do? <laughs> we don't know. No, but really. So what can you do to help prepare yourself if something like this were to happen? If you're stuck with one social media platform or a couple platforms and you're putting all your eggs in those baskets, things could change. They will change as Instagram and Facebook and YouTube need to make their own money. They're going to figure out ways to monetize things and our experience as users will definitely be changing. So the best way to do it, create your own email list, drive people to your own website, and only use Instagram and other social media networks as a marketing tool to drive people back to your brand that you've created. It's easier said than done. To answer our original question, is Instagram getting rid of likes and follower accounts? We don't know, but something to think about. I would not be surprised if it happens at some point. All right, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more travel inspiration, be sure to check out our whole YouTube channel and our Instagram page and our website, www.thefunemployedfamily.com. We're wrapping up a family gap year of travel and we have a ton of content out there and a lot more to come. So anyways, thank you guys so much. High five.